All right, we made it. Finally getting to fish the river that I like. It's still high, still got some color to it, but considering it was 17 feet last week, now it's down to nine, I'm pretty excited. Got a sand shrimp tied on. First cast, I don't know if you guys can even see it. There goes half my sand shrimp, sweet. Off to a good start. Took my sand shrimp last night and they looked pretty good and I get here this morning and they're all dead. Push that a little bit. All right guys, switched over to this pink steelhead worm. Just a Mad River four inch worm on a uh, arrow jig, pink head. I prefer to use a black, darker head, either black or blue, but options were limited. You gotta fish with what you can get. I know you can order stuff, but I'm impatient. bottom. I don't know if you guys can see it, but when you're fishing a worm and it looks like you're fishing soft feeds, your bobber's just going down and going, dropping down. Not how you want to be fishing this presentation. Now that I'm fishing this worm, I've got a little bit more casting ability. I'm gonna fish this far side too with the sand shrimp. If you're trying to launch that thing across the river, you're just gonna keep losing it. I'm gonna put a new one on. All right, guys, we moved down river a bit. Fished those two holes for a while and had to make a goddamn run for the bathroom. Wasn't good, let me tell you. But we're back in action. I think I'm gonna fish here for maybe another 
45 minutes to an hour and then jump up to the, the river I was at Saturday. I know they were catching them and it was pretty dirty Saturday when they were catching them so I would imagine it's cleared up. And the only problem is Saturday there was a whole lot of people out there. Some of these fucking toilet paper left here. Don't be that guy. If you're gonna fucking shit, go shit up in the woods. On the other side of the road. Not at the river where everyone fucking fishes. People have no goddamn respect. All right. Back in action. That's fucking sweet. Fucking sweet. Fucking bobber stops won't stay put. Fucking tighten them down, you cut them off, and look, they just move. All three of them. It's really fucking annoying. I'll try to stay positive and have fun steelhead fishing, but. Fucking every time. It's always something. I either show up and everything's working right and start catching fish or I show up and none of my fucking gear wants to cooperate. Breaking off, retying all the entire day. Ooh, that looked, that looked good for a second there. No, there's, there's a fish. Got him, baby. We're on. Good fish. Good fish. Really good fish. So we can keep them I'm coming up river. Just be easy with him. Drags that good. Get out of there. Chrome.
I stay down. There we go, baby. And it's a hatchery. Whew. Yeah. The pink worm strikes again. We get this girl bonked. And then we'll take a look at her. One more for good measure. Woo! <laughs> that was fucking epic. Oh, what a good fight. Holy shit. I think she jumped five, six times. We'll count them in the video. Oh. The pink worm, just as I was fucking complaining <laughs> about all my gear, nothing was working right. First cast through there with the pink worm, and it was right to that exact spot last year. I came here, I was gonna meet some friends. You guys are like, come on, show me the fish. I was gonna meet some friends and I showed up and they were late. By the time they had got here, I had limited out in that exact spot. Well, I say limited out. I actually thought it was a two fish limit and it was three fish, but two cast back to back tag two fish right there. I actually drove past this spot this morning and there was somebody here. And uh, as soon as I got here, this today I casted a jig out and I was sitting here, casted it out, broke it off on a rock. I'm sitting here complaining about my gear, my bobber stoppers, for whatever reason, they're loosened up, and I mean, it happens, but I have not even been fishing long, so I was like, you've got to be kidding me, and so when I cast it, it, it loosened way up from where I wanted it, and ended up snagging and breaking it off, sitting here complaining about how my gear's not working, and <laughs> bobber drain, it's not a monster. But it's a good fish. Chrome, chrome bright hatchery as you can see. Nice fish. And God, I hope I'm recording. Yes. Let's wash her off, get a better look. Tag her and get back in there. I tried to do it again. fish all right we're gonna set her up here we're gonna tag her actually yeah we'll tag her and then we'll bleed her out GoPro stop recording all right guys I'm gonna do a quick little walkthrough of the setup I caught this fish on got the uh, lose custom XP I like the low profile I prefer bait casting reels when I'm floating um, got the Lamaglass X11, is that 8 foot 6, 12 to 25 pound, I'm running some 30 pound high vis, uh, yellow braid, and basically I'm going down to a 3 8 ounce float, and uh, first thing you want to do obviously is put your little bobber stop on, it's a little thread that comes with it that goes above it, keeps it from going up. You can kind of peg it where you want it to be. Under that, I have this small, uh, what is this, a 1 8 ounce, um, just your normal weight, down to a barrel swivel. And I'm running 15 pound mono. I know a lot of people don't like mono. Um, this water's pretty dirty, but even in clear water, I've had 
I have good luck on mono. I do not like fluorocarbon. I don't even like fluoro-coated. Then, just down to that, that's the money right there. I've gotten three fish this season, all on the pink worm. Now, granted, the last two I got were on a darker head, um, but actually this particular river, I've hooked three fish in here so far, all pink on pink. So, we've gave this whole little rest. Got that fish sitting in some water. Water's cold, I don't have any ice, so. The limit on this river is three. Um, so we're gonna try to make a limit happen. Like I was saying earlier, I thought I caught a limit one day when I thought the limit was two. And I was pretty stoked about that. And it's funny because uh, the buddies that I was going to meet, like I said, they showed up after I'd already caught those two fish and I was leaving. And uh, I told them, hey, you know, stay here, fish this. And uh, they both hooked into a fish here after I left. So this is a really good spot, especially when the, the water's high like this. This is where I like to fish. And basically what it is is there is a rock right there. You can't see it, obviously, but I know... I've fished this spot enough to know where that rock is and it's just kind of a little ledge and they sit right behind that ledge and wait for food to come over it and when they do they take it. That's one of the key things guys is really knowing your river. You know I work up here I swim up here during the summer uh, so I drive by this all the time and I've stopped and looked you know all right this is where I was catching fish what is it about this spot? Then I'll go look, you know, up the river other spots and I'll look for similar, similar situations in the water. Especially, you know, you see a lot of people fishing a spot and you're new to, to steelhead fishing, check that spot out in the summer and see what they're actually fishing. All right, guys, we're on again. Number two. This one feels a little smaller so far. Maybe she just hasn't woke up yet. She's awake now. Here she comes. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Number two, baby. Another hatchery. This one is a little colored. Not too bad. I'll take a look. Yeah. A little buck. He's a little colored up. I think he'll cut fine though. Yep. Whew. Number two. I think we're on to something here. 
ladies and gentlemen. Is that my hook? Wow. <laughs> that is an insane hook set. The thing is all the way through his nose and back into him. <laughs> I'm gonna need the pliers for that one. The funny thing is, I wasn't recording when he hit it, but I was just getting ready to mend. So I really didn't get that good of a hook set on it, or at least I thought. <laughs> that thing wasn't coming off. I knew he was a little bit smaller. I could tell just by when he ran, I had to actually loosen my drag up. So I didn't want it to just, I wanted to give him, have, let him have some give when it runs. I'm be eating fish for a while. Let's have a look. It's actually not bad. I seen a lot more red on it when I first looked. It got a little color to him. He's been in here a little while, not too long. It's a good fish though. Oh, five pounds. GoPro stop recording. All right guys, giving the, the hole a little rest again. I just set my alarm for 30 more minutes. It's a, uh, what time is it, 11 o'clock? It's only 11 o'clock, but like I said, I'm going out of town for work tomorrow. Go home and spend a little time with my wife, my kids, get ready and clean some fish and cook some fish. Be eating good tonight. So, see if we can make this happen. I really want to get that third. It's one of those uh, achievements. It's funny, the other day I posted uh, fish tacos. We used some steelhead and everyone's like, oh, that's gross. <laughs> few people, a lot of people actually said it looked really good, but there's a few people that's like, oh, that's gross, you should never put steelhead in tacos, but we eat a lot of steelhead. I don't waste my fish. So, you kind of switch it up. You, know, you get kind of burnt out on one way, you gotta try some new things. I don't typically smoke fish, but definitely gonna be smoking some of this. What do you guys think? Drop some recipes in the comments and let me know, you know what I should try out. I like to do mine, uh, I actually put steakhouse seasoning in Southwest Chipotle and just pan fry it and then uh, put it over rice. I like to put soy sauce on it. My wife just eats it as is. But, uh, try it out, it's good.
I like to keep my drag a little bit tighter for the hook set. And then I'll kind of, I'll loosen it up if I feel I need to throughout the fight. But you definitely want to have that backbone to be able to get that good hook set. As you can see on the, the last fish, I actually... That's right where I got that last one. Can I do it? What do you guys think? You guys think I can get one more in 30 minutes? We're 27 now. Let me know. With the way this day's been going, I ain't gonna say it's impossible. That is for sure. GoPro stop recording.